Pakistan bans social media app TikTok over immoral content. Pakistan has blocked TikTok, the social media app, for failing to prohibit, quote, immoral and indecent content, the country's telecommunication authority recently said in a statement. Confirming an early report by Reuters, Reuters um, about the potential ban, the Pakistan Telecommunication Authority, or PTA, has issued instructions for blocking the application. Arslan Khalid, uh, a digital media <laughs> advisor to Pakistan uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan, um, backed the PTA's warning to TikTok in June to filter its, quote, obscene content. He claimed that the, quote, exploitation, objectification, and sexualization of young girls on TikTok was causing pain to parents. The PTA said that it will renew its decision once TikTok has managed to, uh, to create a satisfactory mechanism to moderate unlawful content. I mean, based on their stand, if, if this is what they have an issue with, then they should also ban the Quran and the Hadith. Right? Because they, sexualizing children is what they're having an issue with, right? Um you know what else sexualizes children? Oh, uh oh, uh oh, Habibi. Following a prophet that literally had sex with a child, <laughs> right? I mean, it's in Hadith Bukhari. Oh, right, it is in Hadith Bukhari. If you don't believe me, this is it. This is authentic Islamic canon. And even if you want to be, even if you want to rely on the Quran, the Quran itself also says, among toxic, to, talking about a certain ruling about uh, divorce and stuff, talks, uh, the Quran ca puts your wives in two different categories. Like, it says the, the wives, those wives that have reached the age of having periods, uh, and you do this with them, and the, and the other wives that have not yet had their periods, haven't yet become mature. So even the Quran has, you know, excuses, like prom uh, endorses child marriage, right? So, I mean, fine, you want to ban the TikTok, ban, just be consistent. I mean, honestly, I'm not saying that. You know, do not ban the Quran, do not ban the Hadith. Some of you are so dumb that think that if I say that, it actually mean it. I'm just saying, if you want to be consistent, then you have to ban the Bible and the Quran and the Hadith and TikTok, okay? But no, don't ban anything. But what do you guys, a lot of people are making fun of the fact that, you know, finally they agree with religious people on something, you should ban TikTok. What do you guys think about banning TikTok? Obviously. Oh my God. Well, I mean, I don't use it and I think you need to get it off of your phone, Armin, because that's CC's piece spyware. Um, so there's like different conversations going on about is this ban over actual immoral content or is this a political thing about the relationship between China and Pakistan? Like India has been having a bans of various um, like Chinese TVs. Um, the U.S. was thinking about banning TikTok or threatening to because of the actual spyware aspect of it, not because of the morality of the content. Um but if it is about the morality of the content, okay, this is tricky. I, I mean, kind of in the realm of, like, cuties on TikTok, I've seen, like, young girls doing things that I find inappropriate for, like, a girl that young to do. Yes, that is there on TikTok. However, um, I think their standard for what is exploitation and sexualization of women on TikTok is probably a lot more extreme than my standard of what that is. Like, it's probably like, oh, a, like, actually, I don't know. This might be, mm, how do I want to say this? Like, does just a woman dancing meet that standard to you? Like, what what's your standard here? Um, or I know there are a, like, a lot of ex-Muslims that are active on TikTok, specifically making ex-Muslim content. Like, are you worried about that? Are you worried about people being exposed to ideas that you don't like on TikTok as well? Because people do use it to spread new ideas. Um, I think it, it's more about information control more than anything else. Speculation. I think, I think if children want to dance, they should be able to dance. If, if the adults having a, if some adults have 
like see something else in it than children having fun. It's not the kids' fault, and kids should be able to, you know, be able to express themselves if they want to dance and they want to have fun. And if you know that content is not for you, okay, it's for other kids. So I don't think like I don't. I'm. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I think people are just get people see things and all of a sudden they feel something and they want to ban everything because they felt so and they're so insecure about what they felt and they want everybody to just ban everything because they, it's it, this is something about you okay this is something about you and you are so scared of the whole world finding out that you want to signal to the whole world that you're on the right side by virtue signaling oh, how oh, anti but virtue signaling to a whole world how anti something you are because you you have something to prove to yourself. But go ahead, Suzanne. Oh, you went there, um, yeah. Rivka. Well, I also think that we've got a definitional issue, regardless of whether we think that you should ban it or not, because you know what is considered obscene content varies a lot to what people you know so you said something that you think is that you would consider inappropriate but maybe those kids didn't think it was inappropriate but would it be inappropriate and how are adults viewing it and how is it being used and what's the context that they made it in so i mean we had that judge in the united states who said you know i don't know i don't have a definition of obscenity but i know it when i hear it or i know it when i see it well, that is pretty ambiguous and overbroad. So it's really difficult to come up with anything in terms of these kind of platforms to decide, like, you know, what, what is considered inappropriate, obscene. You know, I mean, there's probably some things, you know, murders, you know, violence, but is it fake violence, real violence? What if you're retweeting? What if you're showing a news of real violence that you're saying? You see what I mean? So we have a definitional problem, which is part of the issue when you get into with banning things or deciding that some things you can see or say and some things you can't. So, by the way, for the people who are saying that this is like a good thing because China bad, this is anti-China, this has nothing to do with an, an anti-CCP, anti-China position, anti-Chinese government position. Pakistan is in bed, like they are, they, they, they're so, they're in love with the Chinese government, okay? They're, they're, they, they, they're in a romantic relationship with Chinese government, even though the Chinese government is now the greater, uh, greatest oppressors of uh, Muslims, um, Pakistan as a Muslim government seem to be as much as they're anti, I don't know, Israel, like, or any other, anywhere else, people, Muslims being oppressed, Pakistan would be like calling it out. Oh, India, yeah, oh, definitely India. They would be on top of that, right? If if Muslims are wronged in India, like Pakistan is going to, the Pakistanis are going to be on top of that, right? But apparently, they completely have missed the memo on what China, I mean, they haven't. They're just pretending like they, they, nothing is happening, nothing to see here, okay? So this whole anti-TikTok, this is mostly about their, and you know, negative, being sex negative uh, in Pakistan. This has this move has nothing to do with being, uh, taking any, any meaningful position against the Chinese government. Susanna, you had your hands up. Didn't Imran Khan, like when asked about the Uyghur genocide, literally said he's like, "Oh, I haven't heard no, of it." No, he kept like, evolving. He said that he wasn't aware. No, he kept evolving. At first, is like, "What?" Oh boy. No, he was like, "What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about." And then he went to say, "Like, okay, I I heard about this, but I haven't looked into it." Like, literally, everybody had looked into it, but you, as a leader of a as an Islamic country that is in relationship in very close relationship with China, you're like, "Yeah, I hear it, but I don't know what's happening." And then went on to be evolving. Okay, fine. And we did look into it. But he openly said, but we can't do anything about it because we have a relationship with China. And then people were like, what the hell are you just talking about? Like, this is a genuine, like, this is the greatest humanitarian, uh, human rights violation of our time. And you're like, we can't do anything about it, say anything about it because we're, we're close to China. And then finally he went to be like, okay, fine. We're going to tell China, like, that maybe consider this instead. Like, oh, we're going to just send them a letter. And then Ch even that, even that China was like, shut, shut the f up. Like China, like came strong. Even like, even like, even after all these like slow as slow progress, Pakistan like, fine, we'll just like 
will send recommendation to China on what they what to do with their, to deal with radicalism instead. And even that mild letter, China were like shut. Like China came heavily down. Like you, you guys need to know your place. Like you need like you need our money. Okay, so. And China, Pakistan was like, okay, fine, whatever. But go on. So then. Yeah, trying to hit them with the book. <laughs> um, Rufka, do you have any other commentary on this? Yeah, okay. That wraps it up for me. You're muted. Clap? Can we clap? By the way, guys, yeah. this... Um, Every time Rivka is speaking, I'm always like, this is so good that Rivka has so much commentary so I could do so many things in the background and prepare the next news. And look, I'm like, it's so good to have Rivka. Like, she has a lot of information on any of, every of this and it gives me a lot of opportunity. So, again, I've, I, I, ne- I need to be more openly grateful to Rivka's nuanced takes on every single one of these items, right? I don't, I honestly don't know what it, we would do without, uh, without her, and I don't show how grateful I am often. I should do it more often. So <laughs> you're you. so smart. We love you. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, just be- and all those Nobel prizes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just, I, I just don't, do, I just, I'm not very, because sometimes I think something is so obvious that how grateful we are, and I don't say it, and I didn't realize, like, yeah, people can't read your mind, Armin. You actually have to openly tell people that you're grateful. So, well, that's for... why I overcompensate for you. Yes, yes. I run sometimes, behind everyone and tell them. How sometimes long I, yeah, sometimes I feel like people can just tell how grateful I am. So that's why I don't need to say it. But no, I do need to say it. Um, anyways, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button. But nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, (laughs) but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 